This is Nick Fiorenza, European editor of Jane's Defense Weekly. We're here for the third day of the Farnborough International Air Show, and I have here uh, with me Tony Gaunt from Martin Baker, and he's the business development executive. I was uh, quite interested to see at the stand uh, here that uh, a total of 7,074 people, uh, 7,574 people have been um, saved by, by your seats. I, I was just interested maybe a, a bit in the, the history of the company and where you started and where you've, where you've come to uh, right now. Okay, well, uh, the 7,574 lives saved is, is the very start of it because that's actually 7,574 families that have actually been affected by this as well. So it's something we're very proud of. Way back from our first ejection in 1949 um, by a chap called Joe Lancaster who's still alive and kicking with us. Um, and he's something, as I say, very proud. He's an ambassador for the company. But we've now moved on, so an ejection back in 1949 could take anything from between 20 to 30 seconds from pulling the handle to actually going onto the parachute. Whereas now we have the capability of pulling the handle and the pilot potentially going onto the seat in just over one second. And uh, the, the aircraft uh, which use the seat come from all over the world? Uh? All over the world. We support over 80 countries around the world. Um, many many different aircraft military aircraft we only put escape systems in the military aircraft because essentially they're full of explosives and uh, i see uh, behind us we actually have the latest development uh, model uh, from what i understand and uh, this is actually a model which which would uh, fit into an f-16 so at the moment, the, the F-16s currently fly with a different ejection seat. So what we're proving here, we are proving that we can fit a Mark 18 seat that is under development, and the rails that you can see it on are actually part of the F-16 setup. So our seat will drop straight into an F-16 so we can retrofit it. If it fits an F-16, it will also fit the B-1, it will fit the F-22 Raptor, the A-10, and the F-15. So it's, for us, it's exciting that we, we have a potential to get our seats in these aircraft. So in fact, uh, one of your untapped markets is the United States? No, 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 not at all. We, we have a huge market in the United States. We support all the US Navy with our, um, the T-45s and their F-18 aircraft. We have the, with the NACES seat, which is Navy Air Crew Common Ejection Seat. We also um, support the United States Air Force with their T-38s. And the, that's an interesting one because the USAF had, in their Northrop aircraft, had the Northrop seat. We've removed the Northrop seat and fitted a Martin Baker seat, so we've put a Mark 16 seat in there, as have NASA um, at Ellington Field, and we've retrofitted their T-38s with Mark 16s also. And what have been uh, some of the most uh, recent um, successful ejections? We've literally, as we've said, it's 7,574. When we started, we were at 69. Um, in the last week and a half, we've had five. Now, we still get people coming forward who have ejected many years ago. So recently, we've had two saved from an F-4 Phantom. We've had two saved from a Tornado. And I think, I believe, one of them was in a Hawk, a sing uh, one person flying a Hawk. So that's another five families that are very, very happy and another five lives saved. And were these in combat situations or emergencies? No, they were, I think they were on flight training programs. And uh, you were showing us some very interesting uh, video of um, a uh, Harrier pilot uh, ejection, ejecting from the ground from a burning air aircraft in, in, in movement. Uh, maybe you can tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, that was an interesting one. Um, there was, there was an issue, um, so the pilot had to eject. The reason for this is um, very heavy landing, and, and if you look at the, the ejection, it's just all you need to do is Google Harrier crash at Kandahar, and you will see it. And it's a chap called Martin Pert. Uh, Martin um, obviously is now a good friend of Martin Baker, and he has joined the Thai Club. And I don't know if any of your listeners know about the Thai Club. So essentially, every ejectee becomes part of a very um, unique um, team of people who receive a certificate, a unique tie, and today 
we've had probably five ejectees who've come by, shaken our hands and said thank you for saving our lives. One of the, um, in the old days at least, one of the problems uh, seemed to be uh, back injuries when ejecting. Is this still a problem or have you done, th done anything to uh, uh, alleviate that? That's a very good point. We're going back some years. Lumbar compression and limb flail is still an issue. So what we do now, we, we know much more about the explosives and about how they operate and the burn rates of the different materials. So we're now able to control the explosion a lot more. So we've actually slowed the seats down and the way we deploy the parachute is also important. So it used to be a time where you could eject a number of times. Now, as long as you have passed a medical, you can keep on flying. And we have a number of members of the Thai club who have ejected multiple times. Thank you.